as Venezuela deals with the fallout of a failed uprising by opposition leader Juan Guaido, in Washington, bipartisan unity on how to deal with the embattled South American country is showing signs of strain. I'd like to begin by sending our prayers to the people of Venezuela in their righteous struggle for freedom. President Donald Trump's tough approach to Venezuela has won broad support from both Republicans and Democrats, with members of both parties agreeing that Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro must go. But it was Guaido's military uprising this week, which failed to oust Maduro, that made some Democrats take a step back. Senator Bob Menendez suggested Washington should focus on getting more international unity behind sanctions. While another Democrat, David Cicilline, said the U.S. should stop using rhetoric that Maduro supporters can use as propaganda such as this by acting U.S. Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan. When people say there are, you know, all options are on the table, they literally are. Venezuela's capital Caracas was racked with chaos this week as anti-government protesters clashed with police. The violence sparked after Guaido claimed to have the military on his side and called on them to help overthrow Maduro. The United States supported the opposition protests and this week claimed Venezuela's defense minister and others had secretly agreed to remove the socialist president. They committed to support ousting Maduro and it's time for the rest of the military to, to show what their own families believe. But after two days of street clashes, the protests appeared to fizzle. And on Thursday, Maduro appeared with key military figures. The televised display meant to reject claims by the United States and the opposition that the armed forces high command was prepared to turn on the president.